Greetings and welcome to Let's Play Wizardry 6, Bane of the Cosmic Forge. We, I will show you soon uh, what I did with the characters. I leveled them up a little bit, nothing too much, but it should be quite, well, they are level 3 now. It wasn't that hard, uh, the level gained pretty fast. The random encounters in this game are quite sparse, so there aren't that many. I kind of like that. Well, it's not too much, but like, not too boring, so uh, it's a nice mix. Um, somebody suggested I should download Grid Cartographer. You can download a free version or you can download a premium version. Um, there are two Problem with, problems, blah, 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 blah. problems with that. <laughs> um, first of all, I um, doing a let's play, I don't feel like making maps. Because I would be like, okay, I just uh, I had to tap out all the time to, well I, well, I don't even have to tap out, I can just remove the mouse lock, but it doesn't matter. Um, I would have to, well, either do that or like, do the maps all the time while playing. And I personally don't like that. It's not really that necessary. Um, we're talking about a game that is now quite a few years old. There are maps on the internet. Some may contain spoilers, some whatever. Um, I found some that look kind of neutral. There are some numbers in it, so I may know that there is something in there, but I will use them. I have them open now, but I'm planning to do. Um, I will use them to keep track on where I have been or what areas I didn't explore. I play this game blind, mostly, let's say semi-blind since I'm using maps, but um, if I would play this game for myself, I would sit down, I would start making maps on grid paper, because I personally feel that it reminds me of <laughs> my past when I was sitting down marking maps with grid paper and so on. And I, I did try out the grid um, map thing. I wasn't that happy. What I would use if I wanted to do this digitally is Excel. Let me show you. I um, have open office. I'm not going to buy Excel. And this is the f map of the first level that I made. It is a little bit clunky with the doors. You can just use um, borders to create the walls. You have to use uh, symbols for the doors. Doesn't really matter that much. Uh, it should, of course, it's not going to win a beauty contest, but if you know, for example, here's the well. You can write down, there is a well, and so on. And you know, oh, there's something here. Oh, okay, there's a well. You can read it up here. There, there's a well. You can make notes in it. And it's for free. It's open fucking office. <laughs> you can choose how you want your maps to look. And that's what I kind of like. So if I do this on grid paper, I, I sometimes draw a little staircase or just make an arrow going up the... U and D you saw here is up and down. Um, before you prepare your map, you should put a space into every <sighs> cell. Because otherwise the your notes will overlap to other cells and you don't want that. And yeah, that's how I would do maps. So uh, thanks for the suggestion with good map maker thingy. But not doing a let's play. And if I do it for myself, I use grid paper or Excel if there is no grid paper. So, anyways, um, like I said, I have the maps ready for the first few levels. I plan on exploring the castle a little bit more. Like I said, I have no idea what actually, what I have to do. <laughs> Let's get around this. I have no idea what this background sound is all the time. Um, someone else suggested a new DOS or different DOSBox version to reduce some popping noise. Um, 
I, I'm not sure if I heard that before, beforehand on my first video, but I did use the new DOSBox version and this is now the game quotation mark patched with the DOSBox version which reduces or removes the sound popping. No idea. I have to say this background stuff is annoying. <laughs> boom, boom. What is this? Is this it sounds like, is this music? I hope so. I really hope not. Anyways, everybody is level 3 now. I have 35 kills on my name. And one sir has 19. Lipa has 13. Nianu has only 3. Tim has 3. And Gilvan has 15. She is cracking Piper Punch with a quarter staff in the back. That's quite amazing. Um, we got a few new spots. Belts, of course. Uh, Nianu got. She started with sleep. She has the charm spell, which is useful for NPC encounters. Um, if you somehow piss off an NPC, you can make him like you again by using the charm spell. As far as I know, I'm not reading too much into the spells. Just as a little disclaimer, I try my best to keep my spoiler as low as possible to, so I can enjoy the game myself. But get enough information out so if you want to play this game by yourself, you get enough information to, well, do this. Um, cure lesser condition is, I think, for diseases, poisons perhaps? I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, and she got, well, she started with heal wounds. So these were the two spells she got. Tim, or mighty magician, he got chilling touch, which is a range cold attack, and weaken. I kind of like using debuffs more than just brute force direct damage spells, at least in this game. And at least so far, because if I put the enemies to sleep, they cannot hurt me. And my melee fighter are packing quite a punch. So it's more useful to put, to weaken or to terrorize every enemy. I think terrorize just makes them miss more, weaken makes them hit for less. So it's better to do this instead of hitting one enemy with like four damage. So you can either, well, perhaps, perhaps kill one enemy or put three, four, five enemies in a weakened state. I personally prefer the weakened state, to be quite honest. And of course, there's the sleep option, so we can put the enemies to sleep. Um, Gilvan got Cure Lesser Condition 2 and Enchanted Blade. I think Enchanted Blade is a uh, attack power buff or damage buff. <laughs> it sounds like it, at least. I also changed around a little bit of equipment. I gave Leaper the staff from Nianu, so he can um, go into melee too. Skill-wise, I increased his physical, Skaldachobi, every time he gained a level because it is so annoying to uh, <laughs> level this up with saving reloading every door every door you find no. i think i opened most of the doors on this level i didn't go into them so you aren't missing out any content um in Yutsu, this is his hiding skill you can increase this by hiding in combat that's something I wanted to mention beforehand. Otherwise, well, he he started off with a sling, so he was using his limo sling a little bit. But yeah, he gave, he took the staff from Nianu and gave her the sling. But she is out of bullets. Too bad. Anyways, let us move. I didn't show you this well here. You can drink from this well and it refreshes your stamina bar, which is quite useful if you don't want to spend resting that much. Anyways, we are still on the first level. The thing I did for leveling up my party was mostly doing this. Ow. Whoop, Ow. whoop, whoop. 
until I got a random encounter. Sometimes I just went like, wee until a random encounter occurred. As you can see, there aren't that many random encounters in this game, eh? At least for now, they aren't that vast. Anyways, I think I opened up all the doors. Oh. Nope, this is still locked. Open, pick, leaper. Oh, 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 oh. Can we, can we, can we? Yes! Arr! Open the door. Oh, an encounter. Vines. Yeah, I <laughs> didn't show you him. Tim is a little bit low on the health side. I think he has six health at the moment. I really hope this won't be that much of a problem. Um, I'll try my best to keep him alive. He did die once doing leveling because those vines can hit people in the back. So one of these vines gently touched his foot and he fell over dead. <laughs> I think he's not allowed to eat with fork and knives because he may stab himself and he dies. So <laughs> I'm sorry, Tim, but <laughs> yeah. Um, if this becomes too bothersome keeping him alive, I have no idea how AOE's belly the enemies get later on, I will just increase his hit points to an appropriate level. Like putting him on the same level as Niano or Gilwen. I'm not going to overdo this, but yeah. Anyways, um, let's fight. Swing. Let's swing at these. You train your music skill. Play the loot for me. Uh, Niano, you can't really do anything. You should dodge. Tim, you will dodge. And Gilvin, you will fight. Yeah. Bam! First enemy down. Ah, they all asleep. As you can see, yeah, <laughs> party is put. Vines are really, really weak enemies. So, um, that's what I mostly grinded on. Um, another thing, you can see they were moving beforehand. But since I played the loot and they are sleeping now, you also see they are sleeping. They are not moving anymore. And you can see down below here, you, we have one creeping vine, but zero of them are actually able to do combat. That is quite nifty. So let's wipe the floor with them. And it's dead. Ooh, 39 experience points. A few remnants of broken chairs like clumped in this once dainty parlor. Another encounter. Rats. The only thing that's quite dangerous are... Uh, okay, I didn't hit. Are uh, uh, huge enemies so far. So I once fought a huge rat. They have quite a lot of hit points. And a huge bat who also had quite a lot of hit points. But these seems to be normal rats. Um, if he had more... What's his face? My solitude skill. Every round your characters try to identify the monster. So you can fight one rat and you have no clue that it may be a huge rat until one of your characters is like, Wait! Hey, this one is bigger than the other ones. That must be a huge rat. <laughs> so, when you first got into an encounter, you may be like, oh, I have no idea what I'm really fighting. So, a uh, fight that looks easy can easily turn it way for the worst. But we were successful. Um, let us search the room. Perhaps we find something. Since this room had some... A lore attached to it. It is always a good idea to search it and look at the walls for um, buttons. Uh, another thing I wanted to say, I use the uh, arrow keys to move. I, at the moment, there, turn is on. If we push to the right, we turn to the right. If you push to the left, we turn to the left. Forward is moving forward. You cannot move backwards. If you click on the back arrow, you change to move mode. So pushing right is no moving right. Pushing left is no moving left. I have no idea why they did it like that. Um, 
perhaps this game started off as a different um, computer system where they didn't have a num keypad. Dungeon Master used the num keypad so you can turn and strafe at the same time. And it was older than this game. I don't know. I'm not that familiar with wizardry <laughs> gaming lore. Um, did we open this door? Oh, yeah, no. An encounter! Ooh, those vines creeped up on us. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let's play the loot and kill them. Yes! I'm still kinda scared every time they actually hit me because... Mm, our party is still not that strong. So far the enemies I fought weren't that hard. But then again I am, you may say, abusing the loot. Because I'm using it all the time. But yeah, that's what you... Ah, damn it. Jammed. Okay, we can't... No save. Let's zoom. We can't open this door yet. I'm moving like that. Can we open this? No. Still locked. I thought I opened up most of them. And he cannot pet jammed. <sighs> um, you can open jammed doors with a key. Oh yes, uh, items. Uh, I got a copper key, and when Sir got Ruta Bega, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> Ruta Bega. Well, I, I guess I will. If I find an NPC, I will try selling it to him. Perhaps he's like, "Oh, that is so awesome!" Locked. Let's save beforehand. Can we pick it? Uh, jammed. Great. And perhaps I should have grinded a little bit more to gain more keys. But oh well, we haven't been in here. Keep gate closed during serving hours. Is there anything of interest? Pieces of old bone litter the ground, and deep wet stains color the earth. Okay, nothing. Ah, lodged within this road of a crushed skull, you discover a strange key. As if the deceased is trying to swallow it when... You found one key of ram. Oh, it goes to me. We have found a key of ram. Nice. I have no idea what this is for. Let's see if we find something else here. If somebody knows some hotkeys for this game, I will gladly use them. So I don't have to click all it. Oh, an encounter. Two wets. Yeah, we can do this. We are the wet destroyers. <laughs> Oh, for damage! Oh, 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 oh! Stop! Stop! Those must be huge rats. Uh, loot, parry, parry, fight. One second, keep on. Good. One hundred fifty. Yeah, one of them must have been a huge rat. So much experience. Nothing and nothing. Well, let us heal spell Nyanu. You can cast heal wounds on one, sir. Yeah, 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 nobody cares. Okay, we got a key of Wham. Whatever we are going to do with that. Let us. Yes, I picked this lock. An encounter. One wet, two wets. Um. Like most wizardry games, you have different melee ranges, melee, me melee, whatever. <laughs> um, I think Gilvan can't attack the rats in the back. I'm not 100% sure. But it is also like... Um, another thing, it kind of bothers me. If I let everyone attack this one rat, and this rat dies, those other who well like let's say I let five people attack the rat and the first one kills it, the other four aren't going to do anything. They are like, Oh the rat is dead. I'm not doing anything. Yeah 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 I kinda don't like that. 
Um, Leaper. Loot on those two words. Fight. Ow. 